everyone. Jules. Hello. Just getting started here. We have one minute to seven o'clock. Nice to see you, everybody. What did you guys do for family day today? It was beautiful outside here. Went over to my daughter's house and we all played outside, built forts, did a bit of tobogganing. So you can let me know in the chat what fun activities you guys have been up to. And last week was Valentine's Day, so we took one day off from our Instagram Live. So it's nice to see you guys again. Hello, Angela, Punk Rock RA. Have some fun stuff planned for you guys today. We are talking all about family friendly finger foods. So we're gonna have some fun with pastry today, but I guarantee these are gonna be simple recipes that everyone can make. And you're not gonna need a lot of ingredients. You're not gonna need a lot of fuss or dishes. It's gonna be really simple, but your kids are gonna love it and you can always modify them to exclude ingredients that picky eaters don't like. I have one of those myself, so I'm familiar with having to modify recipes to exclude mushrooms or eggplant or I don't know what other things that uh, kids, green things some kids are opposed to but uh, we're gonna try and sneak some greens into these recipes as well. So first of all, I wanna talk about our first ever cook-off, which we had two weeks ago with Chef Mel from uh, Grow Your Roots. We did our brunch cook-off using ingredients from our brunch bundle that you can find on our online store. Uh, people are really loving it, so we had um, Chef Mel makes some savory pancakes with a caper dill sauce. And if you remember, uh, I made the poutine, breakfast poutine, which was uh, fries topped with hollandaise sauce, some smoked salmon, our horseradish and dill cheese, capers, uh, green onions, and um, some fresh dill on there. And uh, lucky me. The poutine was voted the most popular recipe from that cook-off. So we're one for O. Um, today we're going to be working with some pastries that are really easy to use. And everyone must be familiar with Pillsbury products. They are all, uh, well I don't know if all of them are, but the crescent rolls and the pizza dough that I'm using today are vegan. So you can uh, use those if you want. If you prefer to use another pizza dough, you can do that. Or puff pastry will work. Um, so we're gonna start off with some sausage rolls. And uh, I also made for us an easy pizza. And then we're gonna talk a little bit about phyllo dough and do some spanic pitas. So, the first recipe, the sausage rolls, are super easy. I love using the crescent rolls because they're simply pop them open, roll them up, and bake them. So all I do is I have my little triangles from the crescent rolls. I cooked a uh, Beyond Meat sausage, so you get eight sausage, you get eight crescent rolls in your package. And so I use two Beyond Meat sausages and I kind of cut them lengthwise and then cut them in half so that I have these little sausage roll shapes. And then I have a uh, smoky jalapeno cheese, a nice thick slice of that. And all I have to do is roll them up and the kids can do this themselves. So you just roll them up and you pop them on a cookie sheet. If you wanna get fancy, you can stick a little pesto in there, a sun-dried tomato and big, sun-dried tomato pesto is really good or our uh, fresh basil pesto uh, you can get on our online store or in our shop 
So you just have to bake all of those in the oven for 12 minutes-ish until they're golden. And then you come out with these fun little crescent rolls that you can uh, have for an appetizer or for movie night, game night, super easy. So those I love and we serve them for holidays because sausage rolls were always a big thing for us before transitioning to our plant-based diet. So now those vegan sausage rolls are a big hit. Then you just pop those in the oven uh, for 12 minutes and all of these recipes, you can find the link for the family friendly finger foods recipes in a bio. So just click the bio and there's a nice link in our link tree there. The second recipe that I wanted to go over real quick is this amazing um, easy pizza recipe. And again, there's this Pillsbury pizza dough. So all you do is pop it open and then you spread it out in your cookie sheet. You can make it round, you can make it square. So I kept it really simple in my uh, cookie sheet here. I put the crust down and I baked it for eight minutes at 400 degrees. And then I took it out and put the toppings on. So we have on the bottom our sun-dried tomato and basil cashew cheese. I topped it with some mushrooms. I've got some sun-dried tomatoes here, artichoke hearts, chopped them up. And then I cooked that for another eight to 10 minutes until it was nice and golden brown. And then I'm gonna to top that with some basil pesto. And then we'll put on some fresh greens. Just to add a little bit of fresh color and extra vitamins. We're always trying to get our kids to eat green things. In the pesto, um, in the basil pesto, there's also a spinach, so you're getting a double dose there. So we have spinach in the pesto, and we have spinach that we're gonna sprinkle on top of the pizza. You can leave that off as part of the pizza if you have some non-spinach lovers. But that is really easy fun little dish that is popular in our household. So it doesn't have to be complicated to be delicious and nutritious. But there you go. So you can just serve that uh, for lunch or you, you know, school lunches would be great too. So if you guys have ideas for kid-friendly finger foods. You can pop them in the chat. Let me know. Amanda, hi. It's nice to see you guys joining in today. So the third thing that I wanted to show you today is how to make some Spanica pitas. I think there's two, there's two other recipes in our fa um, family-friendly finger foods recipe bundle. So you'll have, you'll find the recipe for the sausage rolls there. You'll find the recipe for the pizzas. There's also some flat bread recipes that are like five ingredients or less, super easy and fast to make. Also the Spanica pitas. And then um, the other thing that's really fun sometimes is the taquitos. So there's a recipe for taquitos, uh, refried beans, uh, taquitos, you can, Use little dips for any of these things. For the sausage roll, you can dip it in ketchup or barbecue sauce or salsa. Uh, you can make that uh, sour cream that we made a few weeks ago. The recipe is still on the website. So has anyone used phyllo dough before? It can be a little scary uh, at first if you haven't done it before, but it's really, really easy if you know what the tricks are. So this one is just a President's Choice brand that I get at my grocery store here. And it's uh, plant-based. The ingredients are enriched wheat flour, water, cornstarch, wheat gluten, canola oils, 
sugars, salt, and yeast. So really easy. And then for the filling, I have thawed one container of, one package of frozen spinach. So I get frozen chopped spinach. It comes in little like bricks. And then I'll thaw that out in the fridge overnight. And then I'll squeeze out all the water because you want to get rid of all that water so that your pastry isn't going to be soggy. Um, so in here we have a mixture of the spinach. And then I used our horseradish and dill cashew cheese, a whole a package of that in here. You could also use our double cream or the creamy Swiss would be really nice or even the garlic fine herbs would work well in this recipe. And then I chopped up about four green onions. I had some fresh dill, so I put about half a cup of chopped fresh dill in here and then salt and pepper. So really easy uh, filling but it's delicious. So for, we'll put that aside for a minute and we'll just bring out our phyla dough. So phyla dough comes in these sheets like this. They're really thin, papery sheets. They're a bit delicate. So don't be afraid to rip them. That is okay. But you're gonna try and keep it all in one sheet. You gotta be, a little delicate and you want to make sure that you keep these from drying out so they come with this plastic sheet wrapped around them so I'll put my pastry dough down and then I'll cover it right away with the plastic sheet and then I have a damp oops a damp tea towel and I cover it with my damp tea towel so that makes sure that your pastry doesn't dry out so if it dries out it's gonna get really um, brittle and it's gonna crack. So we're trying to prevent it from cracking. So I have here two sheets. So we're gonna fold one sheet carefully back halfway. And then you wanna brush what the bottom sheet with olive oil. So instead of brushing it with olive oil, I have this spray and I can just spray it on there. And then I brush it around with this little pastry brush. So make sure when you're using phyla dough that you have all your ingredients and fillings ready before you open your package. So it comes frozen and then you just thaw it overnight in the fridge or a few hours on the counter, like three hours. And then I put the top sheet back and then I'm gonna fold the other side out. So I can spray the bottom sheet with olive oil, brush it. And then get it all nice and coated. I'm gonna put that top sheet back. And then I'm gonna spray the top sheet again with the olive oil. That's gonna make sure that it browns up really nicely. It doesn't have to be perfectly covered, but you want most of it to be coated with that olive oil. I'm gonna drop my knife. Just grab another one. Then I'm gonna cut it lengthwise. So the sheets are um, longer one way than the other. So I have them kind of horizontally and I'm gonna cut it right down the middle. Just slice it with a sharp knife. And then I'm gonna cut each side into three. So you're making long strips of your phyla dough. go and the other side cut it into three okay and then I have my filling and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of filling maybe a little less than a tablespoon of filling at the top of each of those long strips
All right. So has anyone made a Spanic Apita before or worked with phyllo dough? If you have, give me a little hands up. This is a great filling. You could even use it as a pasta sauce or as a sandwich filling. You could put this into your crescent rolls and roll them up too. Very tasty and delicious. So there I have my six strips with the six little, oops. So that one kind of broke. We're gonna start over here with I don't know if you guys can see this, but you just take your top left corner and fold it over into a triangle on top of your filling there. And then you just fold your triangle again, like you're folding a flag. Just keep folding triangles and triangles and triangles, and you're gonna get the little pocket that looks like this. And that's gonna go onto your cookie sheet. And we're going to bake, um, spread a little more oil, olive oil on them. And then you'll just fold up all your other ones. They don't have to be perfect. They're very forgiving. But you'll get your little triangle bundles kind of like this on your cookie sheet. Fold and fold. All right. And that is pretty much it. Then I just spray them with my olive oil, brush them, and then these ones will bake. You can bake the sausage rolls and the spanakopitas together because they'll both bake at 350 for about 12 minutes. And then once they are cooked, you have a nice crispy little triangle pouch like this. Mmm. Flaky pastry, creamy cheesy filling, lots of spinach in there, delicious. Wonderful. So those are just some fun, family-friendly recipes that I wanted to share with you for family day. So if you have any questions, pop them in the chat while I clean the spinach out of my teeth. And you can tell me what your favorite family-friendly uh, finger food recipes are. Feel free to um, Follow us on Instagram and you can join us every Monday at 7 p.m. for our Instagram lives. Um, so there's no voting this week, but I'd love to hear your comments on um, which recipe you liked the best. So would you try first the Spanish pitas, the sausage rolls, or the Mediterranean pizza? So just after we're finished with the live, you can pop your comment in the chat. Really appreciate you joining me today for family day. I hope you enjoyed your day off with the family. So we'll see you next Monday, 7 p.m. Till then, take care. Bye.